In addition to checking out books at the library, you can now talk to a therapist. The city started a new program to reduce the stigma associated with mental health. CBS 2 Sade Gray spent the day at the Beverly Branch Library learning about the new service. This is a safe space to share. A safe space to share in an unlikely location. Instead of going to the clinic for mental health, people can now talk to a therapist in select Chicago public libraries. The library is a very public space. Everyone can come, and that takes away the stigma from going into a clinic. The Chicago Department of Public Health just launched its counseling services. The community-based pilot program is a partnership between Chicago public libraries and the health department. The department is staffing four libraries with mental health clinicians with sessions that are offered once a week. It's free to anyone 13 years old and older. They offer no barrier services, which means it doesn't matter your immigration status or if you have insurance. Where we're trying to bring high level services to the community, especially those communities that have no services from us or any of our partnership uh, communities. So we're trying to make sure we have services available for the 77 communities across Chicago. Mental health is a crucial part of our wellness, but it's not always easy to talk about or navigate. That's where clinical therapist Letitia Harris-Boyd steps in to help guide you. It's based on your support or your belief system, your family belief system about therapy. The pilot program is held at four libraries, Edgewater, Blackstone, Mount Greenwood, and Beverly. We offer continuous sessions, so you can come back for another session. Schedule a time, come back, and meet. The Chicago Department of Public Health say they plan to extend their extension clinic from the library to the airport. They plan to do that sometime later this year. Reporting in Beverly, Sade Gray, CBS 2 News. In 2019, the department only had 13 mental health service locations. This year, they have more than 170 centers, including mobile, community, and home-based services.